Hey guys, Rune Picker here with another lock picking video. And today I'm going to be entering into a Starry Locks giveaway. Um, I forget the hashtag right this second, so I will look at it and uh, put it in the title when I upload this. But basically, he wants us, you don't have to pick a lock, but I have this Lockwood um, 334B45 that I have not. I picked it multiple times, but I haven't uh, gutted it ever, so I'm really excited to see what's inside of it. Here's the bidding for the key. But basically, he wants us to talk about someone who's been uh, helpful in our lock picking or coin journey, uh, depending on what price you're going for. I'd, I'd like to go for, I, I, you know, I'd like locks, but I'd like to go for the coin prize primarily because that's the kind of stuff that I like to throw in with um, when I send out packages like little presents like that so it's always good to have stuff like that on hand um, um, but you know it's kind of getting into it uh, I always talk about you know Reed and George and Jim they have been really helpful to me in my lock picking journey but someone that I don't really talk about very often that I should also get some recognition is um, Lockheed McLockface Jr. Um, you know, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't like given me like locks and stuff like that. But out of all the people that um, watch my videos, he's very supportive and um, is always looking out for me. You know, there's been a couple times where my account got hacked and he let me know ahead of time and so we got it open so stuff like that is like you know someone that's going to stick by your side is very far and few in between nowadays let's see that the key does work so let's go ahead and get this apart but i really enjoy talking to him he's a really cool dude and um I wish him the best of luck in uh, his lock picking journey. I think he's going for purple, if I remember correctly. And so, that was a two part core, interesting. I've never taken this apart, so I don't know what to expect. It's very interesting, very minimalistic too. I've never seen uh, something like the design like that before. All right, so we have interesting. We have screws on the back. Interesting. There's no C clip. There's just like a literal, I don't know what you call this, like a gate on the back that's screwed in place. Now I know Lockwoods tend to have a lot of tapered pins, so I'm curious to see what's in this one. So let's see, two, four, five. So it's a five pin that can be pinned up to six, it looks like. Got some anti-drill holes, standard, 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 and standard. No mods to the core, but I wouldn't expect that for a stock lock. Slight tapering on the pins on the tops. Nothing drastic, but it's just slightly. So back to what I was saying is Lockie McLockface Jr. I don't know if you, if you guys haven't talked to him. He's a real cool dude. Very supportive of me and, and in my endeavors. And so that's why I want to give him a shout out. Um, 
and like I said, he's not someone I talk about as often as I talk about like Reed and Georgia Jim. So thank you for supporting me. I appreciate it. It's not unnoticed. So we got spools in one through three so far. All spools. Interesting. The Bible's kind of loose, or this top plate is kind of loose on here. Hmm. Alrighty, and no mods to the Bible. So we got these spools in here. So let's come show you what we got right here. And then we will end the video. You can see we got those tapered pins on top and all the spools. So that is my entry into Starry Locks giveaway. Like I said, check out Locky McLockface Jr. And uh, check out Starry Lock. Thank you for hosting the giveaway. And hopefully you guys like this content, like, comment, subscribe, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.